From the patient files of Dr. William Wickman, director of Hillbrook Insane Asylum. Patient number 451, Gabriel Sanchez, also known as The Sculptor. Hispanic male, age 29, black hair, brown eyes, 5'9", 160 pounds. The patient suffers from psychopathy and delusions. Session 1. So, Gabriel, how are we doing today? Um... I'm doing okay. Good. Do you understand why you're here? In Hillbrook. Um... No. I mean, I didn't do anything. Is that so? So, you're of the opinion that you haven't done anything wrong? Uh, no. I mean... No, I haven't. I'll bring up your police record here, and read to you- It's an impression of art, is uh, what I think it is. I'm sorry, what? Oppression of art. I'm an artist, you know, and uh, they're trying to oppress me, and silence me, and they're going to kill me, and they're watching us right now, and uh, they put me in here to silence my art. Had paranoid delusions. I'm not paranoid. So tell me, who is trying to oppress your art? You know, the government, the cops. The cops came and took me and they confiscated my art and I don't know what they did to it and they threw me here and... Tell me about your art, Gabriel. Um, like, what do you mean? Tell me what your art was. Was it a painting? No, it was a sculpture. What kind of sculpture? I mean, what was it made of? What material? Flesh. Flesh? Yes, the flesh. As in human flesh? Um, yeah. It was human. But it wasn't just flesh, was it? What do you mean? I mean, it was more than flesh, wasn't it? Wasn't it bodies? Whole human bodies? Well, yeah. Bodies, flesh... Isn't that the same? Bodies consist of flesh, among many other things. But just to be clear, we're talking about whole human bodies here. I... I guess... And in what kind of state were these bodies in? State? What do you mean? Were they alive or dead? Alive, of course. Why would I want to make a sculpture out of dead flesh? So again, just to be clear for the recording's sake, you made a sculpture out of living people. Is that correct? Um, yes. I already told you that. How did you acquire these people? I mean, did they volunteer for this art project? No. I tried to find volunteers at first, but Nobody wanted to, um, so I uh, had to take them. Take? As in kidnap? No, I didn't kidnap anyone. But you just said no one volunteered, so you took them. Which means it was against their will. That is kidnapping. I didn't kidnap anybody. So, explain to me just how you took them, then. Explain? Yeah. How did you do it? Uh, well... It was hard to find people, you know, the sculpture, so I, uh, I made this fake taxi cab. 
You made a fake taxi cab? Yeah, you know, drove around pretending to be a cab driver. People got in the car, but, you know, instead of driving them to, uh, you know, where they wanted to go, I uh, drove them to my workshop, see? Just to be clear for the recording, by my workshop, the patient refers to an abandoned warehouse out by the train yards. How did you prevent them from leaving the cab? I mean, they must have figured out something wasn't kosher when you drove the wrong way. Sure. The doors had a lock mechanism and a plate glass between the back and the front seat. And I had a, a gun. I used it to get them out and walk into my workshop without, you know, putting up a fight. Yet you didn't kidnap them. No! What type of victims did you pick? Did you have a preference, or did anyone do? Victims... <sighs> Participants, then. No, I, uh... Anyone I could find. Women, men, white people, black people. I took a few teenagers, a few old people, anyone. Children? Children don't ride cabs on their own. But would you have taken children if you could? Why not? I mean, art doesn't discriminate. Anybody should be allowed to participate. That was the entire point of the project. It was? Yes. Flesh unified. Tell me... Um, after you'd gotten them into your workshop, what happened? I mean, just how did you make this sculpture? Well, I made them undress, then I uh, gave them a shot of tranquilizers, put them under, um... I then, you know, began the actual work. Yes? I, uh, sewed them together by the flesh with a steel wire, unifying the flesh, some cheek to cheek. I sewed one guy's head to a woman's chest. Thought it was a nice touch. They were under while you did this? Yeah, the tranquilizers lasted for a couple hours. And then what? Well, nothing. It was done. I, uh, eventually went out and took more participants. How many did you need for this project? Uh, I don't know. I never could finish it. The cops came and arrested me. And for what? What did I do? They're just trying to silence me. What about my freedom of expression, huh? I should be allowed to express my art, and I was going to put it on display and everything. Fucking fascists! The cops, you know, and the government. They're all fascists. It's like Nazi Germany all over again. What happened when they woke up? Huh? Who? Your, vi your participants, how did they react? What did they do? Did they try to get loose or anything? Uh, well, they uh, usually got upset. Upset? I can imagine that would be one hell of an understatement. Once they were part of the sculpture, how did you keep them alive? I mean, you said you didn't want to make a sculpture out of dead people. How did you prevent that from happening? I, uh, fed them, gave them water, cleaned them up a bit. It was kind of messy, especially with their toilet needs, if you know what I mean. Had to use buckets, but some, uh, couldn't quite get them to, with the positions they were in. But, you know, uh, art is messy. It's just the way it is. The, uh, suffering artist, eh? Tell me about it. 
Did any of them pass away? I would imagine infections would be plentiful. Uh, yeah, a few did. I uh, had to remove them. Couldn't solve the other pieces. I see. And how do you feel about that? Being the cause of someone's death? I I don't. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't my fault. I didn't kill anyone. I tried to keep them alive. I even gave them cake once. How generous of you. I know, right? It was my birthday. Hey, doctor. You know, I noticed you have a really interesting figure. What? That slender and graceful frame. It's, uh, I mean, you would make for a fantastic centerpiece on my sculpture. Gabriel, or rather, 451, I think you're gonna love Hilbrook. Uh, yes. Guard, come in here, we're finished. Take patient 451 back to his cell. But first, show him that famous Hilbrook hospitality. Yes, sir! What are you... You fucking fascist!